clock appears to be counting down to the coming galactic alignment in a very specific way. The gravitational pull of the sun and the moon caused the Earth to wobble on its axis, which means that the Earth's view of the constellations changes by one degree every 72 years. This is called the precession of the equinoxes. Over 26,000 years, these constellations rotate a full 360 degrees back to their starting point. According to one interpretation, the cross, like the Mayan calendar, uses the last galactic alignment that happened 26,000 years ago as a starting point to count down to the next one, due to occur in 2012.
some of the more knowledgeable believers in the prophecy think we could be on the verge of Armageddon today. We live in a, a brutal, chaotic world, so much so that with weapons of mass destruction available and rogue individuals and nations and terrorists and so on, people are afraid that maybe this could be the end. To believers, the looming threat of nuclear war has always been tied to the concept of Armageddon. As other weapons of mass destruction have emerged, even secular experts evoke images that echo the prophecy. There could be nuclear exchange. At which point, to protect our own interests, do we get involved with that or not? And if so, at what capacity? Do we want strike packages to neutralize nuclear threat? Or do we just say, you know, let's just have at it? If the final prophecy culminates in nuclear Armageddon, the end will be similar to those caused by a large asteroid impact or a huge supervolcano eruption. The devastation of war will be followed by a nuclear winter, a shroud-like cloud of radioactive debris that will envelop the globe in darkness. We would now lower our global climate temperature by at least 10 degrees as it got perpetually worse. Worse group. And then the prevailing precipitation that would fall in the form of snow would be completely radioactive. In this frozen hell, we would meet our final apocalypse. But apocalypse doesn't mean our demise. It means something to be revealed. The journey through the seven signs only appears to be an unending litany of death and destruction. Starting with the four horsemen of the apocalypse, progressing to a mounting crescendo of horrific disasters, culminating with a final battle that could destroy everything on the planet. But to believers in the prophecy, the seven signs are not a countdown to the end of time. The signs signal a new beginning, a startling and symbolic wake-up call. The purpose is to grab a rebellious mankind's attention in an effort to bring mankind back to himself. And this is where the mystery of the seven signs is finally revealed. For amidst the devastation of the last sign, there is an unexpected end to Armageddon. And I saw an angel come down from the heaven, and he laid hold on Satan, and bound him, and cast him into the bottomless pit. Armageddon ends. Satan is defeated. Good triumphs over evil. And a period of peace and happiness begins on Earth that will last a thousand years.